So we got these once fired 12 gauge two and three quarter Winchester double A. These are the uh, HS stamped. So I got these uh, once fired from DPI. You can order them, they're like 10 cents each. You can see the spent primer there. What I do is I'll give it a quick rub down, just get some of the dirt off there. And the recipe that we're going to be using, this is from Hodgson's website. So we're gonna be doing HS6 powder, Winchester 209 primer, this uh, Clay Buster equivalent, WAA 12 whatever, 36 grains, produces 10,800 PSI, velocity is 1,500 feet per second. HS6, cast, Lee, one ounce slugs. So, come over here to your pal, Lee Lodal. Take the sizing ring, push it down. Sizing ring goes all the way to the bottom. Double check the primer all the time. You want to make sure you're using the correct primer for your load. Winchester 209. Drop that in the little primer tube. Just enough pressure. Just enough pressure to get the primer in there. You can push the primer through the primer pocket. And then when you prime with the Lee Lodol, it pops off the resizing cap. Make sure the primer is flush with the bottom of the shell. Then we're gonna put our powder in. All right, got my 36 grains. Thing I like about using these uh, WA-12F114 Clay Buster equivalent. First of all, when you get these, you can get these in the 12 gauge slug packaging, or there's another packaging where you can just get uh, the Clay Buster equivalent. I have loaded a couple of these. And what I found is that one 20 gauge nitro card underneath puts it at the perfect height for the crimp. So what, what I'm looking for is just about flush with the top of the wad. And I've been getting really, really good crimps with, uh, with putting one card underneath. You can do it without the card underneath, but it sits little bit deep inside so I like that one 20 gauge card and you can use not a good cardboard you can make your own little nitro card but uh, ballistic products sells them as well the other thing that I use on these is the ballistic products mica wad slick just put a little half a teaspoon in the bag and uh, shake them up the other thing is I find on this Lee Lodal you put a little washer uh, right underneath where the wad goes in and I find that you just get a little tiny bit better uh, compression of the wad Pop that in just a little bit of force Don't want to slam it too hard check it And you're looking for about quarter inch below the bottom of this crimp line of where the actual slug will be sitting and the petals will be sitting, so that looks good. And then we come over here to the crimp starter. Make sure the line of the old crimp is facing towards you. And you can kind of shimmy it a little bit. Nice even pressure. That's the crimp started. And then you come to the crimp finisher. And just nice and easy down to where it bottoms out. And there you have it. Comes out perfect. Sometimes when you over crimp these uh, or the AA high strength, I have a video where I cut this open, but it has a little uh, wad cup in here. And there's a lip in there and sometimes you can catch that with this specific load with HS6 it's, it's actually a perfect so now we'll go out and uh, test fire a couple of these bad boys 